Hi, my name's Rob. What's up guys, I'm Dave, and we are here to help answer some of your questions for the upcoming Operation Uprising 2. Um, the uniform for the federal security contractors is full camouflage, everything except standard woodland, which is reserved for CBM. Uh, we're also asking that you do your best uh, to keep both top and bottom on, that way to avoid any friendly fire. Uniform requirements for the Central Valley Militia, or CBM, are just about anything except for full camouflage. The only camouflage allowed on CBM is going to be a classic M81 Woodland. Question, do I need to run a certain weapon to run on either side? The answer is no. There are no weapon restrictions for this op, as well as no magazine restrictions. So you can run a mid cap or a high cap, that's up to you. Question, what are the weapon classes allowed for Operation Uprising 2? For Operation Uprising 2, we have a few weapon classes and we did this to keep things very simple and easy to understand. One, the Rifleman, that's a 400 FPS gun of any type. It must shoot semi-auto only. Saw gunner or support gunner, those are limited to each side. Those are allowed to run at 400 FPS and those have full auto capabilities. Sniper class, snipers can shoot a bolt action sniper that is. A bolt action sniper can shoot up to 600 feet per second and must be accompanied by a spotter at all times. Now one of the things that we've got a lot of questions about is the DM or the designated marksman spot. For this op, we are keeping it simple and eliminating the de uh, designated marksman position simply because every other weapon class has a trade-off. A saw is heavy and bulky to move around, but yet it has full auto capabilities. A sniper has very high FPS, but as we all know, you can't get a lot of shots off. And with the designated marksman, there's not a lot of trade-off between that and a regular rifleman, so we decided for this op that we're not gonna have a DM class. Hill 559 is a semi-only field. The 400 FPS restriction for both riflemen and saw gunners will be strictly enforced. Um, so if your gun is shooting a little bit over that, you're going to need to make the necessary adjustments before you come to the field to avoid any major disappointments. Um, all eye protection must be ANSI rated as well. Please keep in mind that all guns will be chronoed with our .20 BBs. Also, given the 24-hour nature of the op, all eye protection must remain on at all times during the entire 24-hour event. Both FSC and CBM will have a camping area that is completely separate from the FOB and is also completely out of play. However, just in case of a stray BB, you need to have your iPro on at all times. Gates open for Operation Uprising 2 at 8 o'clock in the morning. Registration is going to go from 8 o'clock in the morning to approximately 11 a.m. At 11.30, you need to be in your respected FOBs so you can get your brief from your admin. Packing list. What do you need to bring to Operation Uprising 2? Okay, first, some of the more obvious things. You're gonna need a tent, you're gonna need a sleeping bag, you're gonna need food, and you're gonna need water. However, uh, we are limiting tents to two-man tents. Uh, nobody should be bringing out a tent that resembles a three-room Hilton. This is an El Nino year, so I can guarantee you, in one way or another, it's gonna be wet. Whether it's gonna be raining on you, or it's gonna be the fog, or the dew. So please be prepared for the wetness. Just some personal recommendations to deal with the wetness, gators. If you have gators or have access to gators, definitely bring those along. Anything Gore-Tex, if you have waterproof boots or something similar, that would be a very smart thing to bring. Also, because it might rain, you might want to bring a poncho or some sort of waterproof jacket. Both FSC and CBM will have admin ran fires inside the camping area. However, we are asking players not to bring anything that would have any exposed or open flames. Something like a jet boil is approved. Operation Uprising 2 will also feature a fair amount of blank fire and pyrotechnics. However, this is strictly ran by admin and no players should be considering bringing any of that on their own. However, please bring a Nolligate smoke grenades. We love these things. However, please remember to pick them up because there are livestock that live out there and we don't want anything happening where we don't get a bite of back. Operation Uprising 2 is going to work on sort of a buddy system in regards to medic rules. But each player will have the opportunity to be healed twice. Um, you can heal someone using something like a Milson West tourniquet or a four foot piece of ace wrap. These two things, um, either one, is the res player's responsibility to bring. Each player must have either of these things. Um, that way when they are hit, a player can come up to them, ask them where their medic equipment is, and then conduct a quick reheal. If you have been healed more than or twice, 
Um, then the next time you must go to a casualty collection point, which will be set up by Adam. Although the majority of players at Operation Uprising are going to be adults, please keep in mind that there are minors coming and we have to leave the good stuff at home. Also keep in mind that you are camping, so you really must bring anything you need with you out into the field. There's not going to be any power or anything like that. However, there will be the all-important porta potty but again, I would suggest you bring that extra mountain money with you just in case they run out. All right, the initial federal security contractor ROE, or rules of engagement, is do not fire until there is a display of aggression towards you. Remember, we're occupying in somebody else's land, and in order to win the hearts and minds, so to speak, we cannot be seen to be overly aggressive. All right, guys, we've kind of gone over the basics and probably answered a lot of the questions that we've got a lot of, but we wanted to just kind of add on the end here that this is, this is an experience rather than maybe your regular weekend BB Wars game. So please kind of keep that in mind when we're out there, we're playing. Uh, the biggest thing that I would, I would try to keep in mind as you're playing is that this is a 24 hour op, 24 hours. It's more of a marathon, not a sprint. Okay, there will be plenty of times where you are in your FOB or around your FOB conducting security and holding down the base. So you have to realize that there may be times where there's a couple hours of downtime. Um, but it's usually followed with periods of intensity and you will get tired and you will need those breaks. So kind of embrace that as the time goes on and really realize that you're in it for the long haul, not, you know, 24 hours of nonstop gameplay because there's really not a whole lot of us that would be able to pull that off. No, and in fact, if we did the typical three, two, one, go, I think a lot of us would probably be done by dinner time. So again, kind of keep that in mind, kind of put yourself in the right frame of mind that this isn't a sprint. We are out there for a full 24 hours and that having a good time really kind of relies on you and what attitude you bring to the field. So, hey, what else can you say to that? You know, if you can't have fun, if you can't make fun of yourself, I don't know, maybe you should try something else. Yeah, just remember that it's, it's, it's an experience, that's the biggest thing you can take from it. It's only 24 hours. Um, make sure that, that, that kind of goes into the fact that don't bring a whole lot of extra stuff that you're really not gonna need, it's only gonna weigh you down. Okay, just realize that it's 24 hours. I'm only going to bring what I need. Right when you leave, feel free to go to the best restaurant in town and fill yourself up with the best food you can eat. Double but, doubles. But, yeah, yeah, in and out, seriously. Uh, if you're coming from far away, you may not have that. So um, just be prepared to kind of, I guess you could say, embrace the suck for 24 hours, have a good time, and then, you know, be back to civil, civilian life afterwards. All right, guys. Well, we've tried to hit all the, uh, the most frequently asked questions that we've got over the last few weeks. If there happens to be something that we didn't cover that you still have questions about, you can feel free to message Hill 559 on Facebook. Um, you can drop a line on the Airsoft Obsess or on the YouTube down here in the comments. Uh, either way, uh, please don't show up to the op or, or hesitate to ask any questions if there's still some things that weren't clear enough for you. So um, other than that, it's kind of like the you know, MMA. It's going to be us against them. You know who's going to win? Something like that. I don't know. Anyway, we'll see you guys out there. Later.